Yeah, women are wild now. Are you, I don't know if women are wild where you are, but I find women to be crazy wild. Do you ever get so drunk with a guy? You know, when, I mean, when you were the girls and you go out and you're so drunk, you think this guy's trying to pick you up because he keeps coming over to the table and you don't even realize he's the waiter. <laughs> and you keep going. <laughs> Here he comes again. <laughs> hey, what's me, baby? I have a chosen one here tonight. <laughs> Nothing more attractive than a drunken woman, huh? <laughs> By the way, you know the difference between a drunken woman and a drunken man? A drunken man knows when he's going to throw up. <laughs> Women, we have no clue. Do I? No, it's like, yeah, more margarita! <laughs> There's not a man alive that hasn't had a woman throw up in his car. But you know the great thing about men? They do not automatically assume that the date is over. <laughs> this is something I've learned about men now that I'm older. Nothing turns them off. <laughs> and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you men. This is a lot of pressure nowadays. We have this, you know, all these women in these magazines, Playboy, do you care if your boyfriend looks at naked women? Who gives a rat's ass? Let him go find these women. I'll pack them a lunch. <laughs> like they date him. <laughs> He's dating me. <laughs> Here's the problem, is that at least I'm a trier, which maybe I shouldn't be. You know what I recently tried? And I think you're going to respect me. He's looking at her. <laughs> I tried those thigh-high nylons. You know those nylons that stick with a big band around your thigh? Oh yeah, they stick all right. And then your thigh folds right out over the top. It looks like you're wearing buccaneer boots. And they're made as some kind of Rubbermaid product, so you're, he's kissing you and he's thinking, I need new tires for the truck. Honey, I'm gonna run to Sears, I'll be right back. Thank you very much.